Waterfall. Oh, yeah. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Oh, man. We have a classic show for tonight. We have both Patty Ann Brown and Mike Baker on. Yeah. Now, uh, Patty Ann, you remember from Red Eye, and she had a way with words. Good evening. I am Sith Lord Darth Hadius. And during the weekdays, Fox News anchor Patty Ann Brown. The day after Red Eye's roundtable discussion on the relative sexiness of the Fox and Friends staff, the New York Times erroneously reported that I said, quote, Brian Kilmeade makes me want to puke. In fact, yeah. I stated that Kilmeade makes me want to shoop. I'd also like to add that Brian's packed and he's stacked, especially in the back. Brother, want to thank your mother for a butt like that. Straight up, wait up, hold up, Mr. Lover. Like pretty said, you're a sexy mother <laughs> To think she almost had Chris Wallace's job. <laughs> but she's still better than Chris Wallace. And then, Mike Baker, you may remember him from Red Eye for his deep insights. When I smoke me some weed, the first thing I want to eat is a hot wing sandwich. <laughs> Hot wings. And he, he's allowed to carry a gun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, to the monologue. So in preparation for the Made for Primetime show trial on the January 6th riots, House Dems have hired a former ABC News executive, James Goldston, to polish up their trumped-up turd. Their goal, take old battered exaggerations and repurpose it as new improved outrage. What Beatlemania was to the Fab Four, this hearing is to Trump derangement syndrome. Keep it going as long as possible to divert from Biden's miseries. But it's nuts. A political party secures primetime real estate on a major network, ABC, who once employed the producer, and it's also owned by Disney. Can you find a more obvious case of collusion between party and the press? The special features interviews and pre-produced videos, and it airs smack dab at 8 p.m. I know, Kat, that's opposite young Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but it probably has a oh zillion viewers. You know, but it's worth it because some in the media think January 6th is bigger than all your hardships combined. There are so many things that people are juggling between gas prices and inflation, baby formula, abortion, and, and the shootings that are happening. These lawmakers are going to try to now have a narrative to focus the country's attention to say, look at this thing. Do not turn away and understand that while all those other things are really, really important, the foundation of our country, what makes our country function, is the democracy that we have to protect. They got to force feed it. <laughs> you can't call that state-run propaganda. Then what is state-run propaganda? Honestly, could you imagine the Republican Party securing primetime coverage for a hearing on Hunter Biden? and how the media claimed his laptop was Russian disinfo? Of course not. The big tech overlords wouldn't even let you discuss it without suspending your account. They probably have to air it on Animal Planet. <laughs> how about the Biden family's China and Ukraine connections? That could be a hearing or a primetime hearing on the Russian collusion hoax. That was a slow rolling coup. You want more? How about actual terrorism and destruction? Take left-wing attorneys Colin Ford Mattis and Yuruj Rahman. They were accused of throwing a Molotov cocktail into a police car in New York and faced domestic terrorism charges in 30 years in jail. But since they were rioting on behalf of BLM and targeting cops, their acts of terrorism became acts of heroism. It's just like those violent demonstrations when Trump was elected. Remember that footage? The media doesn't. They buried that, too. You'd have a better chance of finding non-alcoholic beer in Kat's fridge. Oh. <laughs> but this week, the White House agreed to what Jonathan Turley calls a breathtaking reduction in these terrorist charges that'll likely result in just a few years of jail time. Remember, Mattis had been accused of having a pile of firebombs in his car and was filmed trying to hand them out to other rioters. Rahman was caught on camera throwing bombs and then boasted about it like she just threw a one-hitter against the Yankees. They pleaded guilty last year to one count of possessing and making an explosive device, but now they can withdraw the earlier plea and instead plead to conspiring to assemble bombs and damage the patrol car. It's like they were tossing water balloons instead. 
Keep in mind, the backdrop for all of this is Trump supporters rotting in jail for a year and a half for an unguided, often unhinged tour of the Capitol building. If this keeps up, these BLM bombers will be sentenced to a romantic vacay in Honolulu. They can make Molotov cocktails with pineapple and paper umbrellas in them. <laughs> I bring this of course, uh, up, of course, to show you the sharp difference in treatment compared to the Jan 6 protesters. You know, they were called a threat to police, and indeed some were. But yet here, two scum buckets could have burned officers alive, and now their sentences are closer to tax fraud than terrorism. I doubt ABC will devote a single minute to that. Because it's not just about show trials, but no-show trials. The guy producing this January 6th special, Goldston, presided over ABC News up until 2021, and he was involved in several scandals, notably a Jeffrey Epstein cover-up story. Remember that video of ABC News anchor Amy Robach claiming the network killed her story on Epstein and Prince Andrew's sexual misconduct on the Lolita Express? Sorry, the story wasn't killed. It just hanged itself in its cell. <laughs> See, the guy running the co this January 6th comedy hour shows you how the legacy media works. It's about turning on and off the news faucet. Jeffrey Epstein turned the faucet off. January 6th, turn it on and leave the room until the house is totally flooded. As for everything else, the other riots, the crime wave, the border crisis, you'll find Jimmy Hoffa be before you find any of that. Instead, as they see Biden's presidency imploding, they could only do one thing to save it, revive January 6th. They got their work cut out for them. But then again, Disney is great at producing fiction. Let's welcome tonight's guests. We wouldn't have made it very far without this former Red Eye star, former Fox News anchor and author of the fantastic new book, Write Your Own Story. How I took control by letting go. Patty Ed Brown. <laughs> he can kill you with his bare hands and also his long winded mumbling sentences. <laughs> Former CIA operative and host of Black Files Declassified on Discovery Science Channel, Mike Baker. <laughs> She's like a switchblade, sharp, dangerous, and you can hide her in your sock. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. <laughs> and bear traps are his cufflinks, my massive sidekick in the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> P.A.B., the notorious P.A.B. How yeah, you doing? You yeah, how you doing? <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Congrats on the book. Uh, the first chapter is harrowing because it details a very uh, problematic childbirth. I'm going to read the whole thing to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my tease. Everybody likes a good childbirth story, as long as it's a happy ending, if you, you know, know what I mean. It gets much funnier after that first chapter. The first yes. chapter is very dramatic. I read the other chapter about Red Eye as well, just oh, because I wanted to You were looking for your own name. I was looking for my <laughs> name, and there wasn't an index. <laughs> which is a problem. I would change oh. that in, in the paperback just to make it easier for me. So anyway, you haven't talked <laughs> politics in ages, and I bet you're going, ah, oh, crap, I got to talk politics. A little nervous about the whole cancel culture thing, but, you know. You won't get canceled. <laughs> You I will can't. Get canceled. That's the thing. I'm you're a housewife now. You're a housewife. <laughs> Although the housewife association, they're a bunch of a sexist would say. A sexist would say. Oh my God, man. Jeez, I'm getting I need rusty. This job. <laughs> what do you make of this theater? It's like it's kind of it's like it, it, the, the hypocrisy. I mean, it's so uh, we know this, yes. right? It's this is what happens. Was that a question? Almost. Yeah. I, I mean, what I love is the fact that Trump is supposedly saying that he is going to counter program. <laughs> yes. I'm not exactly sure where he's doing that, but <laughs> if he does, I would not be surprised if it got better ratings than the actual hearing. Right. Um, but we know what's going to come out of this hearing. Yeah. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of hours of videos that we can't see, mm -hmm. and people who've seen them say that they show people being not just escorted in, but some of them are being like shoved inside against right. their will. Mm -hmm. Is it true? I don't know. We can't see these videos. videos. And they're promising never-before-seen videos at this hearing. I think they're not going to be the ones we're looking for. I think you're absolutely right. This is one of those things where they're doing a mini-documentary. And whenever you watch a documentary, they're shaping the narrative, Mike. Yep. Like, people go, like, I love documentaries, but it's like, you have to understand, they've... Every, 
they're no different than fiction in many ways because you're shaping the story, much yeah. like your hair is so meticulously shaped. I know, right? Right? I you know. Are, you were looking just, extra just, hunky today, This man. is crazy. You look like yeah. you just walked out of a Viagra commercial. You parked <laughs> your... <laughs> right? <laughs> you parked your... Uh... Just so you can be ready when the time is right. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh. You parked your classic <laughs> Chevelle outside the gas station. You're yeah. picking up some lambskin. Yeah, it might have been... Uh... <laughs> And, and some cologne. Don't yes. forget the cologne. You get the, the uh, polo green, I believe. Do you, um, think, do you think people are going to watch this? The Democrats made fun of, of uh, President Trump. Right. Uh, for all those years for hosting a reality show. Mm -hmm. And now... They're, yes. they're going to host a reality show, right? right. And they're yeah. not... They're, there's no e even the slightest effort to hide this, mm -hmm. right? And they are recasting, or they're trying to recast the whole uh, midterm uh, election. Right. Uh, as look what the Republicans are capable of doing. Mm -hmm. Because in their mind, and what they're trying to get across, and they're using, you know, some, some very clever messaging. I mean, it is mm -hmm. sort of a, a kind of a dictator-like thing to do. Right. But they're using some very clever messaging to say, basically, look, the Republican Party is the same as the morons that wandered around the Capitol yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. Right? And the last point I'll make is, They've talked about this incessantly, that what happened on January 6th, we were this close to losing our democracy. Right, exactly. If that's what it takes for this country yeah. to lose our democracy, we don't deserve the republic. Yeah, yeah. No, it's so true. It's so true. It's like, they. Uh, I think, you know, so, somebody made a good point. Like, we should ban all the weapons that, were, that they used on January 6th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? Look, uh, the only person who used a gun was yeah. a cop. Yeah. A, a yeah. Capitol Hill cop against an, unmar an, un an unarmed uh, protester. Yeah. This is a, Tyrus, would you, uh, would you define this as a show, like a theater, a theatrical show? No, uh, a show is usually filled with talent and a good idea and a plot. And a <laughs> this is, um, it's, it, it, we got two things. We have <laughs> and we got real <laughs> Real is two lawyers decided to go out and make cocktails and blow up a police car. Right. They caught on fire. Yeah. And the woke left got involved, and it's now conspiracy mm -hmm. to commit, which means that they had an idea of making a car. And the fire, nobody was in danger. Yeah. Except everyone within 50 yards of a cop car on fire, which could have exploded because... What do cop cars have in them, boys and girls, on the woke side? Gasoline. Yes. So well, it could have blown see, up. I was going to say killed. donuts. That, uh, see? No. Okay. That's why you... It's an old joke. You know what? You were, I was so happy to have you back, and then you <laughs> f***ed around and did that. Yes. <laughs> see what I mean? And then the other side, you have everyone involved that did... To what we know that did something went to jail. Yeah. And no one on the right came and saved them. Right. Most of them are very mad at the president, mm -hmm. the, saying that Mr. Trump was going to pardon me. And he was like, you broke the law. I'm not doing nothing for you. Yeah. That's the difference. The left are protecting their own and disguising it by making a theatrical presentation, which I'm sure is going to be a lot like a lot of other times we've seen. I'm, the only one I think will be watching with great anticipation is Geraldo, because this will get the Jimmy Hoffa thing off his back once again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it Jimmy Hoffa? Al Capone. Al Capone. Al Capone. The safe. Sorry. Jimmy Hoffa it is. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Hoffa it is. I think it was Hoffa. You know, uh, Kat, I said this a long time ago. He's still looking at me. Is he still looking? Why is he still looking at me? Yeah, he's I said this a long time ago, that if, 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 the, if the Democrats think you're Hitler, why wouldn't they rig the election? And that's, that's the thing. It's like, yeah. if you've been doing for five years, you've been calling everybody Nazis, plus you've been creating all these hoaxes, like the Fine People hoax and the Russian collusion hoax, why wouldn't they rig an election? That is a de that's a legitimate suspicion to have. Why do you look so sad? Because I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing every day and no one cared. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to be me. It is hard to be you. It's hard, like, it's hard to think when I'm so cold. No. I think what I'm going to start doing is getting hand warmers and, and taping them to my body underneath my clothes. Uh, that's called the Brett Bear. I'm going to have to. Kat, do you want my jacket? I, I, I want 11 jackets. No. This, these are not, this is just like, I don't know. Right. I, I got to talk to somebody about this. Do you have an I'm going to do a documentary about that. Yeah, there you go. That'll do get I have higher an ratings. Opinion? 
I think that um, obviously January 6th was a bad thing. I also think that the framing of a lot of the stuff, like in the, in the New York Times, that headline, January 6th hearings give Democrats a chance to recast midterm messages. Exactly. Which is like, I don't think they're supposed to say that out loud. Yes. <laughs> You're right. You're right. But I think that more people would be more concerned or more interested in it if they had faith that it wouldn't, you know, be presented in that way or that it wasn't for that purpose. Exactly. Because I don't think that largely we are that divided on this being a bad thing. Obviously, there are exceptions to that. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that people have problems in the present that they're more concerned about than what happened on January 6th. I agree. I think that, like, nope, like, I don't know, a single righty or Republican who saw that and didn't turn, go, ooh, that sucks. Yeah. But at the same time, the framing is uh, is reversed. They weren't trying to overthrow the government. In their heads, they thought they were protecting the government from a fraudulent election. If you look at it that way, then you go, oh, I see. And then, then, then they got, like, as you said, doors were opened and things, and, and then mostly peaceful. How about that? Why don't I take their narrative from the left? Go, it was mostly peaceful. Well, yeah, look, there, there, there were some that deserved to be charged, right? Yeah, of no course. They were. And, and then there were a lot of people. Yeah, and then exactly. there were a lot of people wandering around, genuinely surprised that they were wandering around yes. inside the Capitol building. It, oh, it was, this, it's you know. definitely, it was like when I used to break into the high school gym. <laughs> and I did. And I won't tell you why. <laughs> Let's just say I knew where the laundry was. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.